Hi, it's Miss Sebastian. Welcome to my studio again. Today we're going to learn about skunks and how to draw them. Hang tight till the end of the video and I'll tell you a super silly joke about skunks as well. Today's lesson is all about a book we're reading called A Boy Called Bat. In the book, Bat's mom, a veterinarian, has brought home a stray baby skunk which she needs to take care of until she can hand him over to a wild animal shelter. But the minute Bat meets the kit, he knows they belong together. And he's got one month to show his mom that a baby skunk might just make a pretty terrific pet. To get started in this lesson, I wanna tell you my top 10 skunk facts. Number 10, the stripes point out the sprayer. So on skunks, the stripes narrow down to the back end of him to say, hey, looky here. You know, something could come out of here that could actually harm you, so watch out. Woo! Number nine, they do a little warning dance. So, you know, if the stripes weren't enough, hey, you know, they'll do a little dance to let you know something bad's about to happen. So they'll stomp their feet, they'll do a little dance, um, sometimes they'll even go up on their front paws and do a headstand show off. But yes, so stay away if you see them doing that for sure. Number eight, they evolve their smelly spray because they're nocturnal. Nocturnal means that they're awake during the night. So prey animals that are awake during the day called diurnal are actually worried about birds swooping down and getting them. But if you're nocturnal, you've got to worry more about terrestrial animals hunting you. So that's why they develop that smelly spray to keep those predator animals away from them. Number seven, that spray is powerful stuff. Not only is it stinky and can be smelt up to a mile away, but it can also temporarily blind you and it's also flammable. Number six, it's all in their name. And if you didn't know by now, hey, their family name in Latin is Mephitidae, and it literally means stink. Number five, skunks can only run 10 miles per hour. People at top running speed are around 28 miles per hour, so we could run and catch one if we wanted to. Um, so because they're not able to run super fast, they have to have that defensive, developed, stinky spray to protect them. Number four, skunks are immune to snake venom. Take that predator, will ya? Number three, skunks often attack beehives because they eat bees. We think they're immune to their venom as well. Number two, the Eastern Spotted Skunk can climb trees. What a great way to defend yourself. And number one, the character of Captain Jack Sparrow partly came from the cartoon skunk character, Peppy Le Pew. Things that you'll need for this lesson include paper, a good pencil with an eraser, and if it helps you to look at a picture while you're drawing it, absolutely have one either up on a device or printed off for you to look at. I'm going to be doing two pictures today. The first one is this one and then the other one is the other picture I showed you and it's going to have more of a background. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at shapes and how big things are in relation to one another so we can have a good proportional skunk. So the first thing I notice when I look at the picture here is that he has a triangle shaped head in this picture. So I'm gonna try to get a triangle shape also. And it's a light kind of a searching kind of a line because I want to um, modify that as I need to because I know I have a lot more body and tail to fit in this picture. So I know that his little foot comes out near his head here and then we're gonna have another one here. That whole set here is about halfway down on the full picture that I have of my particular skunk. So this and this means I'm gonna be able to fit it on my paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of lightly kind of just sketch in where I think things are gonna be. If it helps you just to do lines and circles for the legs to get started, that is A-okay too. 
I know they have a big muscle that's here. Um, and I know there's going to be a stripe somewhere in this area. And I'm not going to worry about things like hair until closer to the end of my picture. Now that I feel like I've got a, a, a real good grasp of how to um, get those shapes in proportionately, I'm going to go back now. I'm going to make some of those lines darker that I want to keep for my overall picture. It's still not too late to go back and change things if you feel like they need to be changed for the better. Half of art is going back and revising what you've done the first time. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start to put more detail on here. I've noticed that the hair on his leg is a little shorter than it is on his tail, so the strokes are shorter here for sure. When I do a crisscross motion, that's more of a crosshatch in art type of shading. I'm looking for areas that are darker and areas that are lighter.
I'm varying the pressure here, so I'm not pressing as hard to keep my pencil more light, where it appears to be lighter on his arm. I like to spend a little more time on the face because that's where people like to look first.
All right, there's my first skunk. For the second skunk, you can add color either through crayons, markers, colored pencils, but you'll need another piece of paper and a good pencil and eraser and a picture if you need one. For this next one, I'm gonna do it all on fast speed um, since I've already shown you the basics of how to draw with proportion.
hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from that video. And I know that you are gonna make some incredible skunk pictures. Um, for our super silly joke of the day, did you hear about the skunk who made a deposit at the bank? Oh, you have it? Well, he made a deposit of one cent. <laughs> cent, yeah, I went there. Okay, so um, if you love the skunk video um, and you want to do your own furry anime skunk, I'll be posting another video of that on my page and you are welcome to try that one as well. Thanks for being here and remember, always love on one another, kindness rules, do something nice for someone in your house today and keep making great art.